Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we will be solving one exponential equation from Olympiad that is x power x minus 1 equal to x power 5 minus x. Not only we will solve using logarithmic and without logarithmic, then we will analyze and compare its graph also. So let us begin. I am taking negative common. So I will write x power x minus 5 is equal to x power minus common in this exponent so it will be x minus 5. Now by the exponent property x raised to the power minus a can be written as 1 over x power a. So I will write this as 1 over x power x minus 5. Now multiply both sides by x power x minus 5. That means x power x minus 5 into x power x minus 5 is equal to 1. So if you sum up the exponents, now power is x power a into x power b. We can write by the exponent property x power a plus b. So this will become 2 power x plus x minus 5 plus x minus 5. So 2 times x minus 5 equal to 1. Now if you see this equation, then it is having a power b form. And we know how to solve this kind of equation by 3 cases. So let me write all the 3 cases here directly. And we will sum up this equation how we will solve using those cases. First case is base is 1, so x will be 1. And we have to check if exponent is 2 times x minus 5 should be real. So let us check, finish this x equal to 1. Okay, let us put x equal to 1 in the condition. So 2 times 1 minus 5, so 2 times minus 4, that is minus 8 and we know that it is real number. So x is equal to 1, surely one solution. Second case, if your exponent is 0, so 2 times x minus 5 will be equal to 0 when x is non-zero, base is non-zero. See, this is our second condition. This is condition I am writing in box. These two are condition. Now check 2 times x minus 5 is equal to 0. That means x is equal to 5 and 5 is non-zero. So x is equal to 5 is our complete solution from the second case. Case third where base is minus 1. So x is equal to minus 1. And its power should be even. So 2 times x minus 5, that should be even. Let us check. Check the condition first. 2 times power is minus 1 minus 5. 2 times minus 6 minus 12. Yes, it is even. So x is equal to minus 1 is also our solution. So using a raised to the power b form analysis means case 1, case 2, case 3 analysis, we are having three solutions. Let me write those solutions. x is equal to 1, x is equal to 5 and x is equal to minus 1. Now let us cross examine all the three values x equal to 1, x equal to 5, x equal to minus 1. Let's put. So I am putting x equal to 1. So 1 raised to the power 1 minus 5 is equal to 1 raised to the power 5 minus 1. So 1 raised to the power minus 4 is equal to 1 raised to the power plus 4. It is 1 over 1 raised to the power 4 is equal to 1 raised to the power 4 
that value will be 1 over 1. So I am writing directly 1 equal to 1. True. Second case, when x is equal to 5. So 5 raised to the power 5 minus 5 equal to 5 raised to the power 5 minus 5. 5 raised to the power 0. 5 raised to the power 0. 1 equal to 1. True. Correct. Third case. This is special actually. Minus 1 raised to the power minus 1 minus 5. So I am writing minus 6. Equal to minus 1 raised to the power 5 minus minus 1. So 6. Okay. I will write exponent is negative. Let us write in the denominator. Minus 1 power 6 equal to minus 1 whole power 6. So minus 1 raised to the power e1 that will be always plus. So by this method means a raised to the power b form analysis we are getting three solutions and all the three solutions are true while checking or verifying. So in total x equal to 1, 5 and minus 1. There are three solutions. Now come to second part where logarithmic is involved. Let me consider this using logarithmic now. Now take log both sides. So it will be x minus 5 log x minus 5 log x equal to 5 minus x log x. You can consider, see this is our equation, take log both sides, so that exponent, that power will come as a multiplier, okay. So log x is equal to 5 minus x log x. Now take all the terms to left side, let me write here x minus 5 log x minus 5 minus x log x is equal to 0. So minus minus will become plus. So x minus 5 log x plus x minus 5 log x is equal to 0. So twice times x minus 5 log x is equal to 0. That means x minus 5 equal to 0 or log x equal to 0. So when x minus 5 will be 0, let me write x minus 5 will be 0. That means x is equal to 5. And when log x is equal to 0, then x will be equal to 10 raised to the power 0, so 1. So when you are taking logarithmic of the same equation, you will be getting only two solution because log of negative number, log of x is defined only for x positive. Log of negative number is not defined. So that is why x equal to minus 1 is eliminated in this method of logarithmic. So you won't get log of negative number in any, any root which is creating log of negative number. Okay, now let us check few values. Limit x tending to 0. What will happen to this function? x power x minus 5. What will happen to this function? Limit x tending to 0. So let us check 0 raised to the power 0 minus 5. 0 raised to the power minus 5. So, if it is minus 5, so we don't put right directly here 0 into 0 or 0 into 1. So, conclude a statement here. So, it will be because of negative power, we will write 1 over 0 raised to the power plus 5. Now, you can see it will become infinity. Means, limit does not exist. Means, if you will draw this graph, 
then it won't give you y intercept no y intercept will be there if you will plot it no y intercept because if x tending to 0 that value is tending to 0 so it won't intersect if it is intersecting this then that means for y intercept we know that x should be equal to 0 that is why i calculated limit at x tending to 0 means ultimately we are putting the value of x when it is tending towards 0 so it is creating indeterminate state or limit does not exist so you cannot get any y intercept for this graph left hand side now come to right hand side find out limit value x tending to 0 x power 5 minus x so that value will be 0 power 5 minus 0 0 power 5 that means convergence is there value is finite convergence value is finite that means it will intersect through origin that value is basically at x equal to 0 function value is 0 so it is passing through or it is intersecting through origin so two points that are actually important now come to the graph part see i have taken first function is x power x minus 1 second function is x power 5 minus x and this is your third function where I am taking logarithmic. So this green color is logarithmic. This graph is x minus 5 log x. This red graph is x power x minus 5, your left hand side. And this blue color graph is x power 5 minus x. Now few important points which you should be aware of. See this intersection you can find out it is coming out 1. See this point is 1 and this point is 5, e easily visible. x is equal to 1, y is coming out 1. You, you can check also that value. If you are putting 1 here, so 1 minus 5, so that value is 1. That is why here it is written 1. Right hand side, if you are putting 5, then you, your value will be 1. So that is why it is 5 comma 1. That part is okay. Now come to using logarithmic method means green color graph it is giving you this point is 1 and this point is 5 in this case your graph is not intersecting y axis y intercept will tend towards 0 means if you want to search for y intercept then it will be at infinity y value you will be getting y intercept is there but at infinity at y equal to infinity means indeterminate form or tending dne does not exist that value will be. means ultimately on real y axis it is not going to intersect those points are important actually one more thing red color graph you can see it is always positive so it won't intersect x axis similarly blue color graph it won't intersect x axis because function is always positive x raised to the power x always positive it won't be 0, it won't be negative. And see, this is ordinary graph. If you are taking log, x cannot be 0, x cannot be negative because of this log. That is why this blue color graph is not intersecting y axis and on the negative side also. So the, these points are conclusive points. If you can take help of that, then that would be great. Anyhow, so this is all about this video thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video please do subscribe and like thank you